I am obsessed with this native brand. I love the shampoo conditioner. So I use the almond and shea butter one and I got this from Target. It leaves my hair feeling really soft. And then for body wash, I've been using the Sweet Peach and Nectar also by Native. It smells really good. So for the body scrub, I've been using the Buff and Ready um, body scrub from Soap and Glory. I love it because it's a really thick consistency and it feels really nice on my skin. So these are the shaving products that I have been using by the brand Tree Hut. If you have not tried the coconut lime, it smells so good. So first I go in with the sugar scrub, the prep sugar scrub, and then I go in with the shave oil. This is definitely my top favorite body butters is the Coca Colada by Tree Hut. It smells delicious. I absolutely love it. I always tend to go back to this one. So that's the body butter I use. So for skincare, I use the CeraVe the foaming facial cleanser and then I go in with the daily moisturizing lotion I really do like them make sure my lips are very smooth I use the tree hut lip butter and I got this from Ulta girl I don't know how long it's been since I've done like a girly self-care video we're gonna be doing that today I need it I am I'm not even gonna lie to y'all I have been stressed out like literally so stressed I just need to de-stress so I thought this would be a perfect time for me to film this video so as you saw i just got out of the shower i showed you all of my products that i am using right now so i am going to go ahead and do some self-care this is your sign if you need to just take a second to yourself to just de-stress and relax girl take a few minutes to yourself and just do a quick little face mask or paint your nails whatever you like to do to relax you see my purse right there i want to pack my purse with you guys and i also went to ross yesterday and i want to show you a little haul that i got but so i'm gonna go ahead and put these on my feet i love these foot masks guys if you haven't tried them try them out they leave your feet feeling super freaking soft oh my gosh look how cute i love the print um they also do have some hello kitty halloween ones by the way look at my nails these are kind of long i feel like these are longer than like my normal shape nails but i got these from timu and they're kind of cute okay guys so while we wait for this can i vent to you guys like can i i feel like i know it's always scary to vent especially to the internet but i don't know i'm talking to my girlies my girlies understand me and i just need someone to vent to because honestly y'all are really like all i have okay so i am an overthinker to the max like it sucks i over i don't know if y'all can relate to me i'm pretty sure there's some of y'all out there who can relate to me but i literally when i lay down in my bed and when it's time to go to sleep my mind is always running. It's always thinking about things. I'm always overthinking about certain things. I'm always stressing about certain things in my life. And I just hate it. Like, I literally hate it. Like, I overthink so much that it makes me, like, cry and it stresses me out even more. And sometimes I'll tell myself, like, Marissa, why are you stressing about this certain thing when you cannot control it? It's out of your control, Marissa. Why, like, why are you letting this get to you? And... I, I tell myself that I like give myself advice I'm like okay am I gonna take my own advice you know like sometimes I feel like I give out like really good advice to people but when it comes to myself I don't know it's just weird like I don't take it I think I wish um that I could like change about myself I guess or like work on I should say I wish I was more open about talking about my feelings and like what's bothering me because sometimes my family like my mom or my grandma will be like hey like they'll like see like i'm off like my body language and i'm i'm like really quiet and they're always like hey like are you okay like is something bothering you like my grandma will ask me and i'll be like oh nothing like i'm fine and sometimes i wish i could just be like you know what grandma yeah something is bothering me i want to talk about it i wish i would i was more open about talking about like my feelings and how i'm feeling and all that but i'm just very closed off with my emotions and i hate it like i just can't express it yeah this right here is like therapy to me it's an escape from my reality and when i do my youtube videos i feel like i'm in another world and it makes me so happy it brings me so much joy that's why you'll always see me very energetic because i'm generally like happy doing this but yeah i just think to myself like marissa there's like thousands and thousands of people who love you on the internet like they're your best friends there are people you can 
you know, talk to and they can understand you. Um, and I love that. Anyways, girl, I just wanted to have a quick little vent session. It's nothing, I'm not venting, nothing in particular. Like, nothing in particular is happening in my life. I'm just stressed about certain things, you know, just like certain little things. And I overthink about everything. So, I just wanted to kind of get it out my chest because I'm trying to work better on expressing my feelings because I'm not really good at doing that. So, this is like a first step to me. Um, but anyways, girl, I've been having this on for a little bit and I've been having my patas on for a little bit so we're gonna take it off okay last thing i'm gonna do is this lip mask that i got from dollar tree oh girl my feet feel so freaking smooth and soft like what the heck feet pictures on the way I will say one thing that does help me calm myself down and de-stress is journaling. I have been journaling since I was in freaking elementary. Like I've always had a diary. I've always had a journal. You know, either that's me coloring or doodling or even like writing down my feelings and my thoughts. I do that now. I feel like when I write it down on a piece of paper, it helps me like I feel like a weight is lifted off my chest. I'm not good at explaining it verbally, but like actually writing it down physically helps. So girl, if you're like me and you have trouble like expressing yourself or talking about your emotions and it's not good to ball it up inside guys. I know it's not good to do that. It's very bad for your mental health. I would suggest to get you a notebook, get you some cute pens, some highlighters, and just like write down your thoughts. Doodle, draw, whatever you want to do girl, do it in your notebook. This is also an escape. This right here is my escape. So yeah, obviously I'm not going to show you what's in here because it's very personal and private. But this is my cute My Melody notebook. And I put all of my pens in here. I have some markers. I have some highlighters. I guess I can show you my stickers. So I have these stickers. Get you some stickers, girl, and just put them on your journal. Like, making it all cute really helps me. This is just me personally. You know, everyone handles their things differently. But I love journaling and I love to have these cute little stickers i need to go buy some more pretty much done with these skincare parts so i got this beauty um a few days ago and we're gonna use her next i have been waiting to do this video so i can pack her she's from marshall she was 30 dollars, and she's beautiful i don't like the strap though the strap is way too freaking long is there a way i can i know i can cut this part but how can i get rid of this chain because this chain is just gonna hang there okay so this is our current berg berg oh lord have mercy <laughs> so this is our current backpack that we are using is this juicy backpack and i love her i loved her but girl it's time for you to go and welcome in the new beauty we're going to be switching in to this purse today guys She's everything. So we're going to go ahead and take off the tags. Now, I was thinking if I should put any keychains on it, but I don't know, guys, because it's that beautiful. I feel like if I put a keychain on it, it's going to be, I don't know, too much maybe. Oh, I have to cut this right here. This little thingy. Alright guys, you know what? I think I'm not going to put any keychains on it because I tried to and it just looked like too much. And this purse is already beautiful as it is. But I do have this Hello Kitty dangler. Um, It matches pretty good. But you see, it doesn't really look good to me in my opinion. I feel like it's like too much. You know what I mean? Um, I also could... No, I couldn't put it right there. You know what? I'm going to read y'all's comments and y'all let me know. Here, let me just put on just, just so, so y'all can see. So, this is what the purse looks like with the little dangler. Um, I don't think I like it. But y'all let me know in the comments. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the purse. And this is the inside of it. 
she's very very spacious okay so for the wallet we are currently using the hello kitty wallet and we are going to be changing into this one i know it doesn't match but i've been wanting to use this and i got this from burlington so let me go ahead and take off these Oh, the cards in here okay so here's my wallet i put all of my cards in there and then i just have the same keychains that i always have so there goes the wallet i'm going to put these lysol and clorox wipes in the pocket also in the pocket i'm going to put some tissue okay next we have my gum case and of course my case for my q-tips this is i think this purse has um some little pockets yeah right here i'm gonna put this in this pocket can't forget about my perfume bottle it fits perfectly in this little space next to my um q-tips Okay, I'm going to put the Germex in the pocket that I told you earlier. So this was in my um, last What's in My Purse video. This little pouch has like panty liners, um, makeup remover wipes, band-aids and stuff like that. So I'm going to just put that in there. Okay, and this is going to be my coin pouch. It's so cute. I got it from Timu. And for my stress ball, I'm going to be using this. I found this at Marshall's. I need you, girl. I need you. Okay, so for the last thing we need is a pouch. This is my current pouch that I'm using, but I want to switch in to my Juicy Cherry pouch. I got this a while ago. Um, so we're just going to put everything, well, most of it in there because the cherry one is a little bit smaller. So we can see what can fit in there. So this pouch is smaller than the ones that I usually use. So we're going to see what we can fit in there. So we're going to fit a compact mirror, a pin, these soap flakes. I think for like my lip products, I'm going to have to just throw them in the purse. So that'll be, that's fine. Um, okay, hopefully my brush can fit in this. In this little pouch i don't know i don't know oh yeah it fits okay she fits we're gonna bring my hand cream and the last things we have are some hair ties and my vitamins which i need to refill this but that's basically everything for the pouch and everything fits so yeah, that's everything in the little pouch. You know, just like little essentials I need. Alright guys, so that is my purse all packed. Let me know what I could do about this situation because I do want to take this off. And let me know if I should add a keychain to it or if it looks good just like this. But she is beautiful. Alright girl, this is what she looks like. Doesn't she look really pretty? Look how cute my dresser is. I have some of my favorite keychains on here. I got this heart stand from Target. It was at like the $1, $5, $2 section. Okay, so I could just like freaking cut this. But I don't know if I want to cut that because I'm scared I'm going to ruin the actual purse. Like I could cut this. But yeah, I tried to open this with something. And it just won't come off. I think I did it with this one. I try to open this, but yeah, girl's kind of struggling. I'll Guys, look how cute this Hello Kitty romper is. I am actually obsessed. I love it. I got it from Forever 21. Guys, look. I ripped off the sides. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just cut it. I literally just cut the... um the whole thing off and it's so much more cuter this bag definitely like gives me vintage juicy vibes like i'm gonna have this purse when i'm 80 years old and i'm gonna pull it out of my collection and i'm gonna still be rocking this purse so it is so much more cuter 
the strap was way too freaking long like the purse was like all like all down like my freaking knee so yeah i fixed her anyways so the first one i got was let's talk about your massive t-shirt collection um i'm really sorry ma'am but i have no idea what you're talking about massive t-shirt collection mm, i don't think you have the right girl no but honestly guys i probably have like 50 t-shirts i literally don't know how much i have but you know what it's all good because i love t-shirts absolutely love them balancing life and youtube this i feel like i suck at um i feel like i don't know how to do that sometimes because usually i'm always like on youtube mine on youtube go on youtube work like sometimes i think to myself like marissa you're in the moment you're with your family put down the ipad like stop editing stop filming for a second and enjoy the moments like either with my boyfriend or my family or you know like sometimes i have to tell myself that and i have to balance it out but i'm such like a workaholic guys i don't know if you can tell i am a workaholic like i will not eat the whole day um because i'm either editing or doing the thumbnail or filming so, like sometimes i forget to eat for my brows, I use the Too Faced Super Fine Brow Detailer. I love it. I got this from Marshalls, I think. But guys, y'all want to know something? Okay, so I remember yesterday how I was venting to y'all like, um, I stress about certain things. Okay, well, there was this like one particular thing I was stressing about. And this morning, it worked itself out like now it's good like now it's resolved like now i don't have to stress about that particular thing anymore so yeah that was a really great feeling when i woke up today so i used to use like pomade but sometimes i look back in my videos and my pictures and my eyebrows are like super bold and i don't um carve them out anymore because i feel like that make this is just me personally um that just makes it more bold and like in your face so i literally just go over my eyebrow with this little brow thing yeah i don't i don't do nothing crazy to my brows just kind of fill in the sparse areas so next one i got was for halloween will you do a paranormal stories video yes ma'am oh my gosh speaking of halloween i cannot wait for spooky season so this is like my tradition that i started um every spooky season guys i'm going to be reading y'all's paranormal stories so, so if you didn't know i love watching ghost hunting videos i love haunted videos i love that um if you didn't know like girl i would prefer to watch ghost hunting videos instead of beauty like that's how much i love it okay so anyways um last october i for the first time i read y'all's paranormal stories and i know a lot of people don't like that but i personally really do like it and i know a lot of other people like it as well and some of y'all always message me like marissa can you even when it wasn't halloween y'all like marissa can you please do another paranormal story video but i really want to make it like a little series i do every spooky season when i read y'all's paranormal stories i have some of my own y'all have some really really good ones so i cannot wait until spooky season arrives so we can do that <gasps> and then monday okay guys so should i post my paranormal to start off the spooky season um the second of october is a monday I obviously post on monday should i post my paranormal stories on monday to start off spooky season y'all let me know or i could do it um on the fifth y'all let me know y'all comment down below i am so excited if you could only keep one purse what purse would it be <gasps> if i could only keep one purse why are you doing this to me y'all know i love all of my babies okay i'm really gonna think about it okay i already thought about it okay that was fast i'm gonna show you the one that i would keep forever because it's just that great and let me go get it hold on wait let me powder myself first before i crease i'm using the aoa studio brightening powder this is her i would keep this purse forever if i only had one purse i could use um it'll be this purse because she's iconic the pink is beautiful 
She's a good size. She has a top handle. She has a strap. She has a little pocket. She's beautiful. And yeah, this is like the perfect bag. What's your favorite part of your makeup routine? Definitely blush. Like, I'm always excited to get to the blush part because I feel like it just brings out my face and it pulls everything together, which is blush. What is y'all's favorite part of makeup? Bronzer, your brows, your lipstick, eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, you know what someone told me, which I took it as a funny, I didn't, I didn't really take it as hate. It was just so funny to me. Someone commented, your head is shaped like a light bulb what the hell who said i don't know i when i read that comment i even go lie i laughed at it i really did i'm like is it i'm all looking at myself in the mirror like is it i don't know i just thought that was so funny like the things people say are off the wall like for real um but yeah i guess my head is shaped like a light bulb and i told my grandma that and she busted out laughing okay grandma bell are you going to let your little sister borrow your clothes things when she gets older? Yeah, she already borrows my things now and she's 10. <gasps> she's 10 already? She just turned 10. Um, Yeah, she already borrows my things now and she'll like take my things. I can only imagine when she's a teenager. Like, hey Marissa, like I'm about to go out with my friends. Like, can I borrow some shoes? Or hey Marissa, like are you using this? Can I borrow it? Or she might just come in my, my closet and just take things without me knowing. Um, I already see it. I already see it, but yeah, I will definitely let her borrow some things. Not all of it, girl. Don't go too crazy now. Blush. I'm using the LA Colors Blush from Dollar Tree. I absolutely love it. I thought I wasn't going to like it, but look, I hit pan. And then I go in to make it more brighter. I go in with the Shop Miss Say Aloha little palette. Yeah, that's what I use. Okay, girl, what else do we have? Um, G, when you do garage sales, do people complain about the prices or what prices you do? Um, no, we never, um, overprice our items, girl. Like, we want to get rid of it. Um, yeah, mainly, like, everything's, like, a dollar, two dollars. I mean, if it's, like, bigger items, of course, we'll price it, like, twenty dollars if it's, like, furniture and stuff. But, like, little knickknacks or shirts, oh, a dollar, two dollars, shoes, oh, three dollars, two dollars, depends on, like, how new or old they are. But no, we don't overprice our items. And when people come last minute to our garage sales, we give everything out for free. Like we just put stuff in a trash bag and we're like, just take it for free. Okay, I rubbed the heck out of my neck. So that's why it's red. So sorry I didn't film my high show, guys. I don't like my makeup right now. I really don't. I'm not feeling it. So that's why I wasn't recording it. Because I wasn't feeling it. But I will tell you my lip combo. So I use the AOA Studio Rodeo Lip Liner, and then I like shade it in on the sides. And then um, the lipstick is the Nude Lipstick O'Teddy. And then I put this um, in the middle, in the center, I put the LA Colors Lip Jelly Lip Gloss. It's from Dollar Tree, this is so pretty. And then I topped it off with a lip plumper to make my lips juicy but yeah guys that's basically my makeup for um setting spray we're going to use the rude mento setting spray okay guys so there is other things i want to do in this girly vlog so i didn't want to spend my whole time on my makeup but i wanted to show you my alex nine drawers hold on i have my straightener right here because in my last video i didn't show y'all what i keep in there so i'm gonna just go ahead and give you all a tour okay so the first drawer i keep all of my jewelry and these little organizers and then in here i have all of my wallets and in the back i have more keychains so that's like my jewelry drawer the next one is like skincare things facial things you know that this next drawer is another like hygiene drawer. It has some extra razors, some Dove soap bars and stuff like that. This one, I'm not sure what to do with this drawer. This like extra makeup that I have. This uh, is all of my lipstick. I know I have a problem. This is my hygiene drawer. All of my hygiene products. 
And then this is my favorite drawer. I have all of my um, lashes are back there. And then all of my nails, which I am obsessed. I have so many nails for days and I love it. And then in this little container, I have my nail glues. This is miscellaneous things. I have some pads, tanning mitt, toothbrush covers. I have extra toothbrushes back there. And then the last drawer is my hair tools and two headbands. Okay guys, it's time for y'all. Well, it's time for me to show you my Ross haul, my mini Ross haul. I went to Ross a couple of days ago. My nose itches. And I'm gonna show you what I got. So hold on, let me do a quick little thumbnail. Hold on. <laughs> into it first thing i saw were these hello kitty little makeup wipes aren't they so adorable so these are brightening vitamin c girl and it comes with a pack of two i think yeah these were five dollars 4.99 like how adorable is that so i found those hello kitty wipes i did get some sweaters because duh guys i found me some freaking adorable sweaters so this is a Barbie one and it's so cute. Um, so this is what it looks like. And all the sweatshirts are $15, I've noticed. So there's that. It does say Barbie on the sleeve. But yeah, that is the first sweater that I got. I did get another one. This one is my favorite. Oh my goodness. I found this Brett's one. How cute is this? And I got this in a size medium because I got another Brad shirt in a size large and it was a very, it was like too big on me. So yeah. But anywho, it says Brad's on the sleeve. Again, this was $15. Make you holla. The next thing I got were some bras. These are some juicy bras, of course. I love the colors. And it comes with a three pack for $20. $20. So yeah, um, I thought these were cute. It comes with a pink one, a brown one, and this one right here. So we got those. Yes, I only bought one t-shirt this time. I know, shocker. Guys, it says iconic. It's a Barbie t-shirt and it says iconic. I love the flaming heart. I love it. This was $8.99. Okay, so this is the last thing that I got from Ross. I found me some Ugg slides. Yep. These are some black Ugg slides. They're in a size 7. They fit me perfectly. Every time I see some Ugg slides at Dollar Tree. Every time I see some Ugg slides at Ross, I always get them. Well, if they're cute, of course. But yeah, these are just plain black and they will go with everything. And these were $25. Guys, you cannot beat that. $25 for some Ugg slides. Stop. Well, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and go. I don't know what else to do. I just wanted this to be like a chill, girly, like self-care time vlog. Um, I haven't done one in a while. I do want to go makeup shopping. I really do want to because... I want to try new makeup products. I want to try new concealers. Um, I do need to go hygiene shopping as well because I'm running low on like some of my products. So I do um, need to do those. I mean, I don't need to go makeup shopping, but I kind of do need to go hygiene shopping. I want to go makeup shopping. So yeah, hopefully this video gave you some motivation or gave you a sign to take a second for yourself. So take some time for yourself because we all need it. We all go through things in life, guys. Life is not perfect. Life throws you curveballs and sometimes they throw it out of nowhere. You're like, whoa, what the hell just happened? I was just doing good two seconds ago. And I'm really proud of myself for making a safe place. Not only for me, because my YouTube channel is my safe place. But I also made it for you guys as well. I love when y'all comment on my videos saying, Marissa, I love your videos. I've been feeling down, but as soon as I watch your video, I feel happy. And that's just my goal. That is my goal to make you guys happy, to make y'all smile, to make y'all laugh. But anyways, Miss Ma'am, y'all know I could literally sit here and just talk and talk and talk and talk. Like I could literally talk for a long freaking time. 
Anyways, girly, I will see all beautiful people on my next video. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Bye, everyone.